on behalf of James Xixin Yang and his co-authors, in this video we provide a summary of the paper, a fatinib for the treatment of non-small cell lung cancer harboring uncommon EGFR mutations, a database of 693 cases, which was recently published in the Journal of Thoracic Oncology. The objective was to provide a comprehensive analysis of clinical outcomes in patients with non-small cell lung cancer harboring uncommon EGFR mutations treated with a fatinib. EGFR TKIs are now the standard of care for EGFR mutation positive NSCLC. Having demonstrated robust efficacy and tolerability benefits compared with standard treatments in clinical trials. However, most of these trials were limited to patients with tumours harbouring the common EGFR mutations DEL19 and L858R. Uncommon EGFR mutations, identified in 7-23% of patients, represent a heterogeneous group of around 600 variants and often coexist with other EGFR mutations within the same tumour, so-called compound mutations. Existing data suggest that uncommon mutations show a high degree of heterogeneity in terms of sensitivity to different EGFR TKIs, supporting the use of a personalised treatment strategy for patients depending on mutation type. Post hoc analysis of the pivotal Lux Lung trials showed that the second generation ERB B family blocker, Afatinib, has clinical activity against the most prevalent uncommon mutations G719X, L861Q, an S768i and is approved in this setting. However, in general, prospective data on the efficacy of EGFR TKIs against uncommon mutations are lacking. Nevertheless, several real-world studies have assessed the activity of EGFR TKIs in patients with uncommon mutations, and these studies play an important complementary role to randomised trials for informing clinical decision-making. The aim of the current study was to analyse all the available data for afatinib in patients with NSCLC harbouring uncommon EGFR mutations and to provide a searchable database of clinical outcomes. This was a pooled analysis of data on patients with tumours harbouring uncommon mutations who had been treated with afatinib. Data were collected prospectively from randomised clinical trials compassionate use and expanded access programs, phase 3b trials, non-interventional studies, and case series or case studies. In addition, a systematic literature review was undertaken on September 19, 2019, and all identified cases with available outcome data were included. A total of 693 patients were included. 315 had not been previously treated with an EGFR TKI prior to a fatinib, and 378 patients had received prior EGFR TKI treatment. Patients were categorised into four key groups. Group 1 included those with tumours harbouring T790M. Group 2 had exon 20 insertions but were T790M negative. Group 3 had major uncommon mutations, i.e. G719X, L861Q and S768I with or without any other mutation except T790M and exon 20 insertions, and group 4 had other uncommon mutations. Cases of compound mutations, defined as at least two uncommon mutations with or without a common mutation, were also analysed. Central testing was performed only in patients enrolled in the Lux lung trials. In all other patients, Mutation detection was undertaken locally using different methodologies. Key endpoints were overall response rate, duration of response, and time to treatment failure, defined as the time from the start of therapy to treatment discontinuation for any reason or death. 98 different uncommon mutations were identified. In TKI naive patients, 40% had a major uncommon mutation. 24% had an exon 20 insertion, 12% had a de novo T790M mutation, 11% had other uncommon mutations, and 13% of patients had compound mutations. Of the compound mutations, nearly two-thirds harboured a major uncommon mutation. As expected, T790M was more prevalent in TKI pretreated patients. Among the 315 TKI-naive patients, 
medium TTF was longest in patients with compound mutations at 14.7 months. In patients with a major uncommon mutation as part of a compound mutation, median TTF was 16.6 months. In patients with an isolated uncommon mutation, median TTF was 10.8 months. As expected, TTF was shorter in patients harboring exon 20 insertions, T790M, or other uncommon mutations. Strong activity with a fatinib was observed in patients with compound mutations and those with major uncommon mutations, with objective response rates of 77% and 60% respectively. Durable responses were observed in several patients, with a median duration of response of over 17 months. Activity was also notable in patients harbouring other uncommon mutations, with a response rate of 65%. Response rate was lower at around 25% in the T790M and exon 20 insertion groups, but some patients with exon 20 insertions demonstrated durable responses to afatinib. For TKI pre-treated patients, median TTF was again highest in patients with tumours harbouring compound mutations at 5.8 months especially those that included a major uncommon mutation at 9.3 months. The objective response rate among TKI pretreated patients was highest in those with other uncommon mutations at 36%, followed by compound mutations at 29% and major uncommon mutations at 25%. To our knowledge, this study represents the most comprehensive analysis of clinical outcomes of EGFR TKI treatment in patients with NSCLC harboring uncommon EGFR mutations. Our analysis showed that afatinib has strong clinical activity against major uncommon and compound EGFR mutations. In addition, in line with preclinical findings, Afatinib showed broad activity against other uncommon EGFR mutations, including certain exon 20 insertions and very rare uncommon mutations. The widespread use and improvement in the sensitivity of next-generation sequencing assays are likely to improve the detection of EGFR mutations in the future, including detection of uncommon mutations. In this regard, our data will provide important information when considering optimal treatment for tumours with uncommon EGFR mutations, including compound mutations. A searchable database of outcomes by EGFR genotype has been created for individual genotype efficacy critique and accompanies the publication. This can be found at www.uncommonegfrmutations.com.